welcome to Swimtopia Academy channel. My name is Joseph and I'm your swimming instructor for today. Okay. Now if you're wondering what this channel is all about, okay, it's a, it's a channel that's dedicated to give you tips and tricks on improving your swimming. Whether you are a beginner swimmer or you are a seasoned Trying to improve your swimming in the open water. Okay, we can cater for all sorts of swimmers. In this video, we're gonna look into the proper technique in breathing when you're swimming freestyle or front crawl. Tip number one in having a great breathing technique is always to breathe out with your nose and breathe in with your mouth. Why? This is because your two nostrils is much smaller than your mouth. Ah. <laughs> okay. When you breathe out, use your nose to do trickle breathing. That means blowing very slowly. Blowing out very slowly like this. And when you turn, <gasps> Okay, so your mouth can take in more air when you breathe in at a very short time because your mouth is much bigger than your nostril. Tip number two is to always turn to your side when you're breathing and not lifting your head in front. This is because when you lift your head in front, your feet will start to sink. One good news I want to bring to you guys is our channel is eligible to be a YouTube partner program. That means we are able to monetize for every video that we make in YouTube. Thank you so much to all the subscribers out there. It is you that made this happen. Please continue to encourage us by telling your friends or families to subscribe to our channel and we'll continue to make great videos for you. Thank you! Tip number three. Turn your head and not lift your head when breathing to your side. Notice that I'm actually pressing my hand and lifting my head up, right? Instead of turning my head. That is very bad. The moment you press your hand down and you lift up your head and breathe, your feet will start to sink, right? That is almost like you are breathing with your head up in front. Try to maintain part of a goggle inside the water. Also, one of your ears shouldn't be coming out of the water. Tip number four is when you are turning your head, make sure you do not overturn. Some people swim freestyle, you do this. Notice that what I did was when I turn my head, I overturn and I can see the sky above me or the ceiling if you're in an indoor pool. We don't want to do that because every time you do that, you over-rotate your shoulder. Your shoulder will go right behind. Your hand, arms will go around past the middle axis line. And that's where you lose your balance when you're swimming. and looking at the side of the wall when you swim. Look at the wall. Look at the wall. Some adults I've seen, they have problem breathe. Okay? So when they come out of the water, they are choking on the water. For example, I show you.
in order not to get what what you just did, or what I just did, okay, or you can always turn your shoulder wider, okay, like this. Okay, turn up your shoulder so that you don't have, you don't need to turn your neck so much. Okay, maybe the shoulder can point to the sky so that your neck you don't have to turn so much, right? Just turn a little bit, and your mouth and nose already can come out of the water. These are the basic techniques I've uh, shown you um, how to improve on breathing when swimming freestyle. Now, um, when you're able to master this basic technique, try to turn your head faster when you're swimming, when you come up for breathe. Because every time you turn to the side to breathe, getting less streamlined in the water. Right? So the less time you take to turn and breathe, the more streamlined your body is in the water, right? So turn, faster, head down. One, two, three, faster, head down, okay? Turn faster. Last but not least, try to learn to turn both sides when you're swimming, right? So turn to the left, and swim, 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 turn to the right. Okay, it helps you not to get one side of the neck sore. Especially if you're swimming a long distance and spending hours in the water. Now, also for the benefit of the open water swimmers, um, turning both sides allows you to see your competitors when you're swimming in open water, right? You're able to see your competitors on your left and you're able to see your competitors on your right. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to learn more, please subscribe to our channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye!